Beverson Engineering. It's full of the latest technology. But can you tell me about the history of the company and what it is you do here? Yes, uh, the company started in 1974. In them days, it was just a little tool-making company. Pre CNC, day, CNC days, so lots of jigs and fixtures, work holding fixtures required. I joined the company 1978 as a miller. Uh, worked for three years, 1981, massive recession going on, no work coming in, and it was no surprise when my boss walked in one day and decided to close the place down. Uh, wasn't looking to sell the company at the time because it wasn't worth very much. We only had very old machines in rented building, so uh, he just said he was going to close the place up before it got into financial trouble. Talked to my father about it, saying if I had any money, I wouldn't mind uh, giving, making him a small offer. Hopefully he would snap my hand off because he hasn't got a buyer. And to my surprise, my father uh, said he's got some spare money and he lent it to me. So borrowed the money off my father, bought the company, worked on my own for two years, doing everything, working all the machines, the miller, miller machines, lathes, grinding machines, still doing tool making but it was pretty obvious that tool making was dying to death. Mm -hmm. So naturally progressed into doing small batch work and uh, eventually located this facility and we moved in here in 2010. And to be honest with you, it's been a great success. Mm -hmm. We've gone from 30 employees when we moved in here, now employ 60 employees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful story. And I know your preferred tooling supplier is Take Your Tech. How yes. have they helped you along this journey? Yes, well, you know, customers, all customers are always looking for price reductions, can improvement projects to reduce their cost. Uh, so we've done a lot of work with Take Your Tech over the years. I think we've been working with them for about 13 years now. Yeah, it's good because a lot of manufacturers and, and, and indeed cutting tool manufacturers, they look at shaving 1% and 2% off the price. That's not the way to go, is it? You want, you want to shave 10, 15, 20% off the machining process, then yes. the price becomes almost irrelevant then. Yeah, uh, it's, it, it's no good looking at the cost of the consumable insert. If the insert's dearer, but it does twice as much work, it's, it's, it's far better to pay the more money for the, the, the insert than uh, what you were paying previously. We just look at the best method of getting the most efficient time on the machines. Mm -hmm. And we've done some good projects with Tech, you know, over the years and Lloyd and Jones. And uh, you know, it helps me to pass on the cost savings to my customers. And that helps me keep the business. Mm -hmm. And you can't have these wonderful machines with uh, cheap tooling either, can you? No, no, you, you know, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. You can see we've got some good machine tools here. So you've got to put on, good quality equipment on. You can get cheaper stuff, and we have tried that in the past, but unfortunately you don't generally come unstuck in the long run. It's better to pay for the quality as well as uh, you know the good product. And your father's investment, it looks like it's been a good one, doesn't it? But, yeah. but what does the future hold here? Are you going to continue to grow? Are Take Your Tech going to help you along that journey even further? Yeah, we hope so. We're, as I say, we're predominantly aerospace, and aerospace industry is absolutely booming. At the moment, we've got some good long-term agreements in place with customers. Uh, the order book for aircraft is going through the roof and you know, they can see a net of 10, 15 years into the future and it's going to look busy. Yes, we're go hopefully going to continue working with Tech, Tech. keep doing what we're doing, keep, keep trying to get reasonable price reductions for our customers and that, that, will, that will make them want to keep the work with us. Well, I've just had a glowing reference for Beverson Engineering. But from your point of view, what, what have you done here? What products have you got in the field? Well, Beverston Engineering, a customer that we took on board 13 years ago, and between myself and Rod, we looked at uh, how we can improve the productivity uh, performance of Beverston. Mm -hmm. And over the years, with a uh, training of their staff and the implementation of Tegu Tech new cutting tools, I think we've got a great combination. I see a lot of your vendor machines from Tegu Tech, but what are Beverston vending? What products? Uh, basically, uh, we have two vendor machines here, Joe. Uh, one for cutting tools and one for gauging. Uh, I would say 70% of the cutting tools in the tool vend machine are Tegu Tech, other 30% obviously, because mm -hmm. we can't supply everything for other, other tooling companies. And the gauging machine, is basically uh, for every uh, gauge that Beveston use in the aerospace industry, 
calibrate, checks calibration uh, and uh, where the gauge is on what job, how many parts it's gauged because everything's 100% inspection. Yeah, and presumably they're going to have spot audits from some of their customers, so at any time they can print off a sheet and they can say these are our gauges, these are calibrated, we're doing what we can in terms of ISO as well. Yes, this, is a, this will totally control uh, the, the ISO system or any, any audit coming from, from any major supplier uh, in the aerospace industry. They will know at any given time where that gauge is, what machine it's on, what part it's actually being used on, or if it's out of calibration, or if it's waiting to go to calibration. They know uh, from the press of a button. And what products do you supply in here? Have you got any new stuff like drill rush and things like that? Yeah, there's, there's uh, plenty of drill rush, top drill, uh, high feed milling, and uh, rhino turns on every machine because as you look at uh, the machine tools in here, we do small cuts quickly. And uh, the high feed milling as well is, uh, is great to do small cuts really quickly with no uh, impact uh, on the machine. And uh, basically improving the cycle time. And with 13 years, Beverston, they've, uh, they've, they've committed a lot themselves, haven't they? It's a lot of loyalty for 13 years, so they're obviously happy. They've continued to save uh, time on their components and therefore saving their end user money. Yes, uh, we did it. Uh, we started off in a, a, a three-party partnership with our distributor, uh, Lloyd & Jones, who are our sole distributor in the northwest of England. And between us, we, uh, we put a, a, a policy together of... Uh, tool vend improvements with the matrix machine, uh, looking at uh, the best tool for the job. And uh, Lloyd and Jones are uh, the integrator for Beveston, and I am the technical support and the number one supplier to Beveston Engineering on cutting tools.